All right, so today we are one step closer to the process, in the process, to finding a safe and effective vaccine against COVID-19. The biggest test yet of the Moderna, Moderna uh, vaccine, excuse me, is happening right here in Georgia. Ellen Lopez spoke to a doctor in Savannah where they're administering the first doses of this trial vaccine. We've got ammunition. Now we've got to see if we can actually hit the target with the ammunition. And that's the point of phase three. It's make or break time for Moderna's coronavirus vaccine as it begins the final stage of testing. The trial is taking place at nearly 100 sites across the nation, including Savannah. At 5 o'clock this morning, we dosed the first of uh, Moderna's phase three uh, COVID vaccine trial. Dr. Paul Bradley and Meridian Clinical Research in Savannah says both phase one and phase two of the trials showed the vaccine was generally safe. We haven't seen anything worse than uh, maybe some mild flu-like symptoms for a day or so. Um, and it, like I said before, it's a two-shot series, and we tend to only see that on the second shot. The two-shot series uses spike protein from the virus to prevent infection. Dr. Bradley says the trials require volunteers who are willing to help, including those who are disproportionately affected by the virus, which can be a challenge. Oftentimes, minority groups are worried about being experimented on. They're worried, uh, is, is it, why are we doing this? And uh, it's a tougher sell. 11 Alive looked at the numbers here in Atlanta. For every 67 white people who get the virus, there are 98 black people with COVID-19. It's something that's been on the mind of Dr. Michelle Albert, who started looking into how black women in particular are affected by the virus after her own mother got sick. Who are oftentimes uh, left out uh, of a lot of studies and a lot of work. Testing of the vaccine is crucial in determining how effective it is. But in order to do that, Dr. Bradley says those at high risk for the virus also have to be a part of the trials. Assuming it works, uh, it, it's only going to eradicate COVID if we have a huge percentage of the population get it. To get FDA approval, the vaccine needs to prove to be at least 50% effective in these trials. Now, Dr. Brownlee says that the vaccine could hit the market as soon as the end of this year.